proper way, and uh, the people that I'm advocating for are the ones who are attacking me uh, the most. So that was like the final straw for you. It wasn't what the violence you experienced on that day. I mean, listen, those were all factors. Those were all factors, but yeah, it was absolutely. ultimately... Is ultimately the, uh, and I think that's something else that uh, you know people don't recognize is I spent 20 years as a cop, um, and you know I worked narcotics my entire career. I was in You've seen a lot of hard stuff. I mean, it, it, as you have said, yeah. I, yeah. every random Tuesday I see someone shot in the neck. I wasn't a mall cop, uh, if, you know, despite what uh, some of the, the social media memes that have popped up. So I've seen a few things, and um, I. I know how law enforcement can be its own worst enemy with regards to um, officer wellness and, and mental health. You know, we critique each other the hardest. Um, and, you know, it's, you know, we talk about the, the blue wall of silence. Well, behind that blue wall is not a united front. It's a lot of different, um, you know, cliques, just like any other work environment and sometimes um, you know our criticism <coughs> uh, amongst ourselves is, is the most damaging it's really sad and it's really sad that you've been treated that way by as you said the people you were trying to advocate for Michael Panone thanks for coming on to talk about it uh, once again Michael's new book is called hold the line the insurrection and one cop's battle for America's soul thanks again thank you we have a lot to cover tonight in the newsroom. Could rising tensions over oil do lasting damage to the U.S.-Saudi relationship? I'll talk to the spokesman for the Saudi embassy here in Washington. And with the president's approval rating at 43%, what are the Democrats' chances of holding the House? House, uh, we've got House Majority Leader Cindy Hoyer. He's going to join us. And then later, first the pandemic, then inflation. Families are reeling from rising prices and turning to food banks for help.